Kejriwal versus centre, gloves are off. It's an all-out war. Latest flashpoint, Delhi LG seeks CBI probe in Amadmi Party's liquor policy. Calls the Kejriwal government, Thekewali Sarkar. Directly indicts Delhi Deputy CM Manish Sasodia. One of the ministers is in jail uh, uh, who, on the charges of money laundering. Other ministers' name is cropping up in excise-related uh, uh, issues. Under these circumstances, I think uh, the, the, leader, uh, the, the leader of uh, such people, Mr. Kejriwal, must come in the open and answer these questions. Furious Delhi CM hits back, says unafraid of witch hunt. Son of Savarkar versus Bhagat Singh's son invoked. Jail se hume dar nahi lagta. Tum log Savarkar ki walad ho, jisne angrejon se maafi mangi thi. Ham log Bhagat Singh ki walad hai, ham Bhagat Singh ko apna adarsh mante hai. Jisne angrejon ke saamne jhukne se mana kar diya aur fansi pe latak gaya. हमें जेल से फांसी के फंदे से डरने लगा कई बार जेल हुआ है हम लोग इट हैज बीन एन आई बॉल टू आई बॉल कॉन्फ्रंटेशन फ्रॉम द ईडी अरेस्ट ऑफ सतेंद्र जैन द फेस ऑफ ओवर कश्मीरी पंडित्स नो परमिशन टू दिल्ली सीएम फॉर सिंगापुर समिट विजिट एंड नाउ एन ऑल आउट वॉर ओवर एलजीस कॉल फॉर सीबीआई प्रो जब कोविड के समय जब राशन की जरूरत थी तो कितने माइग्रेंट लेबर्स को दिल्ली से बाहर भगाया गया उसके बाद जब ऑक्सीजन की कमी थी तो राजनीति करी उस वक्त पे ठेके खोल के सिर्फ पैसे कमाने की कोशिश की जा रही थी तो ये आम आदमी पार्टी अब हटा के नाम अब ठेकेदार की सरकार कर देनी चाहिए क्योंकि ठेके वालों की तो सरकार है ये अ कॉन्फ्रंटेशन सिमरिंग फॉर लॉन्ग नाउ बॉइलिंग ओवर फोर मंथ्स बिफोर इलेक्शन इन गुजरात एंड हिमाचल प्रदेश Till now, shy of taking on the Prime Minister directly in recent times, Arvind Kejriwal is now all guns blazing, forced to confront the BJP's biggest star campaigner. You guys are the king of the king of the king of the king of the king. We are the king of 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 the king. Arvind Kejriwal vs. Centre. The new chapter begins. Top focus on To The Point this evening. All right, viewers, uh, the pot of confrontation has been boiling for a while now. Has it now reached a crescendo? We're possibly boiling over any time. Multiple flashpoints that have taken place over the course of the last few months, the latest this time. The Lieutenant Governor has clearly stated that there is a need of a CBI probe because he says this government has gotten into financial bungling, where the liquor policy of the Aam Admi Party is concerned. Let's take it one by one. I am joined this evening for our political face-off. I have in the studio Shahzad Poonawala, spokesperson, Bharati Janta Party, Jasmine Shah, spokesperson, Aam Admi Party. Jasmine, the fact is, if there is nothing to hide, why be shy of a CBI probe? You've always said that. We are not shying away from any probe, but one has to see this in a series of, uh, you know, such cases that have been uh, uh, put down on Aam Aadmi Party MLAs and Ministers. You know, a total of 150 cases have been, uh, uh, you know, put on Aam Aadmi Party MLAs in the last seven years. Many of them with allegations of corruption, not a single being held by courts. Almost every of them has been thrown out by the courts. And as far as CBI raids, ED raids, so many of them have happened. But, you know, for some reason, Aam Aadmi Party, after it has won Punjab, the intensity and the vehemence with which all the constitutional, so-called constitutional bodies have been unleashed upon the AAP has been unprecedented. Uh, Satyendra Jain, what is his crime? He built Mohalla clinics. He gave a healthcare model for the entire country to emulate. Mani Sisodia, today nobody doubts that he is the finest education minister the country has seen. But BJP, rather than trying to match Aam Aadmi Party for work to work, they cannot see the rising popularity of Aam Aadmi Party. They see that Arvind Kejriwal today is the only threat in front of Prime Minister Renendra Modi. Gujarat elections are coming up, Himachal elections are coming up. So what do you do? You cook up charges, you try and implicate the leaders of Aam Aadmi Party and somehow show that they are as corrupt as we are. Because everybody knows what the track record of BJP is about buying, selling MLAs, wholesale corruption. But we are very sure. We have faith in the judiciary. Like in every instance in the past where judiciary has stood by the truth, we are very confident that truth will prevail. 
but the nation is seeing the nation is seeing the kind of politics the vendetta politics that bjp uh, has gone down to and the nation will decide when the country goes to polls all right uh, i'm going to bring in your counterpart this evening shahzad punawala into this conversation mr punawala um, the aam aadmi party the chief minister says we aren't afraid bring it on but you're trying to hide your own inadequacies in various fields by pointing a finger to the aam aadmi party preeti i hope i won't be interrupted because it's not an ad slot this is a debate and let me make my points first of all the delhi model is the abcd model a for advertising b for blaming center for everything c for cover up of corruption d for deviation he is not going to answer questions he is only going to deviate c for cover up for corruption satender jain ke bare mein bhi kejriwal ne kaha tha he is a cutter imandar two months mr jain has not got bail what is the cutter imandari he had said this for jitender tomar also cutter imandar he had to take a u turn on that so are the courts also doing vendetta politics if the courts are not doing vendetta politics you would have got relief for satender jain but having said that let me tell you about not the happiness class but the happiness glass model which you can even see in punjab because they are not giving nal se jal like we are giving they are giving har ghar daru sharab and let me tell you what this model is and specific questions need to be answered they have started at the peak of covid 850 liquor vents and let me tell you what all has been violated first the cabinet takes a decision that manish uh, sisodia will be empowered to take decisions it was flagged by the lg they take the decision in cabinet that they are going to revert reverse that decision despite that manish sisodia takes some decisions what are those those decisions first l1 a company of l1 in the airport zone is given a emd of 30 crores back even though it had not managed the noc from the airport authorities where is the uh, contract says and the act says that you cannot do that secondly 144 crores of um, re relief was given to these liquor companies point number 3 the operational period of the license was increased by the excise department without going to the competent authority point number 4 i have show causes that have been issued by officials of the excise department somebody honest must be working there they have given the license to a manufacturing company for retail which is not allowed in the uh, policy currently five they have given it to companies like khau gali which were blacklisted how was that given what was the procedure 14 july 2022 another cabinet meeting was held without preparing the cabinet note i have listed six of these violations he should answer specifically about these six violations and the larger political points that i have to make first of all your health model sir health model to si can you name a new hospital that you built in 7 years chalo health chhod dijiye school aap bahut bolte na world class education model name one school you started in the last 7 years don't tell me about classroom because you can keep i within bogies to a train that doesn't mean it's a new train tell me instead you have shut down 31 schools 800 okay. schools do not have a principal and your health model is so good Let's that kejriwal go goes one. to kejriwal goes to bangalore bhagwant man comes to delhi and takes his treatment from apollo manish sisodia takes it in max hospital satender jain in max hospital amantullah khan in apollo hospital if those uh, hospitals you have built are so good why don't they go to them or why don't they go to a mohalla clinic all right okay you know we're going to take it one by one jasmine shah you want to get into this answer because then we're going to move to the other flash point which of course is the fact uh, that the charge that was laid by the chief minister that the government's trying to stall his visit to singapore but please let's get on to with this he's raised certain questions would you like to address those the, each and everything that shahzad is saying is nothing but lie and plain lies and in fact these things are being ratted out like a bible by each bjp and this is the talking points you know this is what all bjp people have been said that you know forget about evidence there is not a single piece of evidence official evidence supporting any of this fact these are completely cooked up and i'll give you one example he said that the security deposit of some vendor was not forfeited you know how tendering process shahzad works that if you EMD. do not win if you I do not get emd 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 has to be returned for people who do not win the final contract that's how government processes work so you know you're making a fool out of yourself by making the the kind of claims that you are now you Can talked I about know? our education and health model you know so, yes okay, Jasmine, may i just come back the, no no very one quick yes. point i, I want to make, make a quick retort on education yes. and health you pointed it out you know the entire world today acknowledges that something miraculous is happening as far as education and health in delhi the singapore high commissioner invited arvind kejriwal did not invite any of bjp cms did not invite the prime minister or the education minister they invited arvind kejriwal tell me why they why are they not inviting any of you agar hum itne kharab hain aap to 75 saal se desh mein sarkar chala rahe hain एक स्टेट बताइए जहां पे आपने मॉडल स्कूल्स एंड हेल्थ केयर सिस्टम बनाया हो गुजरात में बनाया हो दे आर एट द बॉटम ऑफ द नीति आयोग एजुकेशन रैंकिंग्स यू हैव नॉट डन एनीथिंग ऑल दैट यू वांट टू डू इज यू नो थ्रो गार्बेज एंड लिटर एट अदर्स वन यू नो हम खराब है लेकिन आप क्या है आपने कुछ नहीं किया बीजेपी यू लुक एट द ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड ऑफ बीजेपी इन एनसीडी इन दिल्ली यू नो यू हैव यू हैव मेड दिस द मोस्ट बैंक एंड करप्ट बॉडी इन द एंटायर कंट्री 
So the reality is that people are seeing. This. Okay, Jasmine, I want to hop back. I want to bring in Shahzad as well, and we have enough time. So for the both of you, I promise uh, you, you'll get enough time. Yeah. But I want to so, hop back one second, Shahzad. Uh, I, I want. I, yes, you may. Yes, you may. Give me a minute. Hmm. But Jasmine Shah, I want to hop back to the points that were raised by uh, Shahzad earlier. Specific what was points. the need to possibly change the liquor policy when there was an established? system that was already working, which as per the BJP and the LG has raised issues of propriety and corruption. No, so let me first of all correct uh, you because the problem is not with the policy. This is, a, is one of the most progressive policies and I'll mm -hmm. tell you the measure of a progressive policy. In the first year of bringing out this policy, the revenues of the state government from excise has increased by 1300 crores. You know, so if you, if you were to hear BJP's argument, that this is such a corrupt policy that somehow the state revenues has increased by 1300 crores in one year. And these are numbers which everybody has, right? So why should the government not increase revenues? We are not going to, uh, you know, double the prices of petrol and diesel, put the mm -hmm. inflation and the price of inflation on the back of the common man and then increase government revenues. No, we will clean up the system. Mind you, all this money because of illicit liquor okay. being sold in Delhi was going in the pockets of BJP Netas. The day we announced a new policy, we cleaned up the system, made sure the money goes into go government coffers. These people started uh, making noises. From day one, they have been making noises. Okay. Okay. And let me tell you, okay. as, as on date, as on date, not an I'll come to you. I'll it's come not to an ad slot. It's not an ad slot. You're going to get equal time. You're going to get It's a debate. Let me revert. You will? Revert. I will, no, I will yeah. give you the chance to revert, so Shahzad. Ad me, slots are given by both the BJP and the Amar But we know whose ad slots run the most. So let me not make this into an ad slot. Let me come and revert to a few points. Now, first of all, just because the revenue is 1300 crore does not mean that there's no corruption because it could have been 2000 crore, it could have been 3000 crore. That's the point we're making. And let me add to a few points which you did not. Okay, no, no, I am not going to get any you can't, you Don't can't talk over each other. I one have, second, I sir, hear me out. Opportunity hear me speak. out. You are going to get yes. the opportunity. Hmm. Mr. Jasmine Shah, sir, don't interrupt. Accord the same privilege to your co-panelists. And let's just leave it at that. Right? Don't, don't embarrass me by putting each of your voices down. I don't want to do it. Okay. Mr. Punawala, go ahead. Yeah. So, first of all, the revenue could have been much more because he did not answer any of the specific questions I asked. But let me add a few more points. First of all, foreign liquor was given a 50 rupee per case discount on 8th of November 2021 without going to the competent authority. So the revenue could have been much more. If you can earn 2000 crores and you earn 1300 crores, that's a corruption of 700 crores, it's a loss of 700 crores. Secondly, the second relaxation, it was two wins per ward, they changed it without going to the competent authority to three to four multiple wards, uh, wins in per ward. After that, He's saying it's a progressive policy. Is it progressive to reduce the number of dry days from 21 to 3 and to reduce the drinking age so that everyone can get access to alcohol and to open it in religious places, near religious places, schools, hospitals, etc., to which RWAs and Mahila uh, groups opposed it and they said that nothing doing and then the MCD took a decision that in the non-conformity zones, we will shut it down. But let me come to the larger point. First of all, he's lied to you about the EMD. The EMD uh, that was paid was paid without going to the proper department and 4811B of the Delhi Excise Rules prohibits it when the NOC could not be obtained by that L1. It should have gone to the government of uh, Delhi. It should have gone to the people of Delhi, not back to that company. Point number two, I want to ask him a specific question that uh, uh, Singapore trip, that Singapore trip is by the way not meant for Delhi CM. It is meant for mayors and therefore Hemali Bhogwawala, who is the Surat MLA, uh, uh, Surat mayor, has been invited for it. But I am not going to allow you to run away from this debate because the real debate is no, about no, the there are multiple, policy. There are multiple, there are multiple points. Debates. You cannot but decide let me, the point. Ask a specific yes. question. Yeah, let me ask a specific question. Now the specific question that I need the answer to is that firstly, can you please tell me that with what authority at the peak of COVID when the LG had refused Mani Sisodia to take unilateral decisions and you had taken that decision back from the cabinet, how did you still empower Mani Sisodia to take those decisions under the excise department? And he said it's all fake, okay. right? One second, very important. He said it's all fake. These are two show cause notices issued by the excise department officer Narinder Singh, assistant commissioner IMFL, who says you could not have given a theka to a company which was manufacturing it. The manufacturing company could not become a retailer. You also gave it to one company which was blacklisted. These are show causes issued by some officer who was honest. So is this also fake? Okay. By the way, Satyendra Jain was indicted by a court of law, High Court, August 2019 order, which said that he was indulging in Hawala transactions. That has not been contradicted. Okay. They have got no relief from court That's of law. That's an entirely different debate. We're going to get down to it. But, uh, you know, one quick comment, Shahzad. Uh, Delhi's yes. drinking age is 21, so is Madhya Pradesh, it's the BJP government there. Number two, no, as I want to bring in your, as I want to bring in your counterpart. Is, is Madhya Pradesh opening, one second. opening liquor One second, one second guys, okay, time out, time out, one second, one second. I want to, you've had your say, I want to yes, bring yes, it, I am bringing you 
uh, Jasmine Shah. The other point that, uh, you know, which he has raised is the fact, uh, and Mr. Poonawala, has it been established that the money has gone into the pockets of the Ahmadmi party leaders or is it just because you feel that the revenue should have been more? Hmm. What is the point? Where does the corruption come in? Yes, what is the I'll corruption charge? Is the corruption charge that because of the liquor policy, the, there is corruption because it's gone into the pockets of, say, a Manish Sisodia or Aam Aadmi Party leaders? Where is the, what is First your question? First of all, if you would uh, see the CBI probe or our press conference, we did not take Manish Sisodia's name. It was Mr. Kejriwal who came and said that they want to put Manish Sisodia in jail. That means, chor ki mooch mein tinka. First of all. Secondly, we are alleging there is quid pro quo because of the relaxations that were made, the illegalities that were conducted, not said by us. The Chief Secretary's report has been the basis for the LG to order CBI probe. The Chief Secretary works under their government, correct? So, it's his report. Is that also false? He has made an allegation that there are so many irregularities. Now, the okay. person taking those decisions was Mr. Manish Sisodia. So, they have to answer that okay. who was it at whose behalf. You've raised your point now. May I? Satindra I'll come back to you. Satindra I will come back to you, Satyendra was indicted by a court of I will, law. I will come back to you. All right. Now, Jasmine Shah, you want to make a point? Come in. Yes. You know, Shahzad, it's very easy to draw a random conclusion. I'll draw a less random conclusion. Your Prime Minister, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who's was yours? Called one second, one out, second. Who's yours? Okay. Our out. Prime Minister is the Prime Minister of our the country, Prime Delhi. Minister, your Chief Minister, Minister, admit Arvind Kejriwal. He is my Chief Minister. Got it. Okay, let's let, let leave it at that. Our Chief Minister, Minister in Delhi, one Minister second. Let's not get into this. One second. Our, yeah. We are derailing the, the debate. No point in getting into that. That's not the point. That's not the point. Our Prime Minister and your leader, Narendra Modi, was called out by a foreign in Sri Lanka, some senior bureaucrat there. Say that he is lobbying on behalf of your corporate friends. Okay. What quid pro quo is happening there? Why is the CBI not investigating me, this? Why is the ED not investigating this? You know, the reality of your ED is that in the last seven years, 3,000 raids have been made by ED, all on opposition politicians, but with only 0.5% conviction rate. You should be ashamed of this. There is no bigger proof of the fact that you have reduced today ED and CBI, which were anyway as a case parent. But nothing but an arm of RSS and BJP. It's become a shaka of RSS and BJP. And this is the reality that the people of the country are seeing. They are seeing that Arvind Kejriwal is the only one which they have hoping to turn around their lives, who can improve their schools, who can improve their hospitals. You cannot okay. match him, so you want, Shah, to, I want you, to, you want you to bring them quick, down. Mr. Shah, I want to ask you one quick question. The fact is, it's not an allegation that is being made that certain leaders of the Aam Aadmi Party benefited from this Lika policy. The allegation is that there were laxes in the policy which could have benefited. Now, if there is that an is opportunity for an invest, that might not be true or it might be true, matter of investigation. What's wrong with that? Absolutely nothing wrong, Priti. We are not going, we will, we will support and we will fully cooperate with any investigation, but we vehemently reject each and every allegation of any lapse. Anything that has happened in the excise policy has happened with due process right. by following all the protocols and this has led to a 1300 crore increase in revenues during COVID when we needed to spend on the healthcare, all the hospitals and the beds of people, which we have done. And, and BJP today can, cannot claim that they have done similar in many of their other states, right. which, you know, like UP, if you see that there were bodies on, on rivers, no beds were available in UP, but okay. there were no, in There's no point talking so about that. I'll come to you. You'll get your time. How, there were how, bodies on rivers. Uh, one second. Is that relevant to this discussion? It's not. It's not. That's Let's what I'm saying. That exactly. I request you to increase the one debate second, time. We debate that. One second. Debate that. One second everybody time asked. out. Time out. Okay. Please allocate one second. Time. I want to come back now. Yeah. Can the I other, answer? I will. Question. Yes, sir. I'm coming to you. Can I pose a question? I am. I am the. I am the moderator. Why are you giving him a free run to make lies? Sir, by the way, there is a reason what I do. You know, I sit here now with us. With us. There's a reason that you're defending him to not allow specific questions. You know, one second. Shahzad Punawala, I'm sitting here with a stopwatch. You've spoken one minute more. I'm posing a question on that. I have that. not spoken more I than am, him. I you have given posing, him more opportunity. I am you have only defended him. You are derailing the debate. No, I am you are posing, defending you him. Are derailing not allow, no, you are but, allowing him to get away with all kinds of lies. If you would not have been biased, you would have given me an opportunity. So let me make my point. You have spoken a let minute more, Shahzad Punawala. Let me make my point. Please, please, please make my point. First of all, you are my guest. You are my guest. You are entitled to sit here and say what you want. You are defending him. You are defending him. It's evident. Let me make a few factual points.
Let me make a few facts. That's why you've spoken a minute and a half. No, Preeti. Let me, let me ask about, you a question. Preeti, let me, I'm the moderator. You can ask me the question. I let am, me answer some yeah, questions. Go ahead, answer. First. He first spoke about vendetta. Here is a High Court order indicting Satyendra Jain, Para 30, which basically says, and I'm going to read out Para 30. Please bear with me. I know it's not an ad slot, but please bear with me. ADPR Sir, it's which, not an ad slot, please, but you've spoken a minute and a half more. Please bear with me. I did not intend it at you. Why are you defending This is absolute nonsense, Shazad. Please stop it. Because you will say, one second. You can't run this debate, Shazad, the way you want to run it. But you you cannot. One second. Him and Can I just, him to get you know what I'm going to do is, you, you are trying to derail this debate, sir. Is it Time out. Can I just get Shazad Punawala for exactly 40 seconds and I will call it and then I will go to... And let me Thank also you. ask you the yes. other flash you can point. Ask me the about other it after flash. I make my point. Sir, I'm sorry. I am moderating this debate. You can ask me. I am moderating. You want to keep derailing this debate? We can go all the next five yes, minutes that we the have. The audience is seeing who's derailing. Exactly. Yes. So yes. let me ask you the other point as yes. well. While yes. you make this point, hmm. is the question that has been raised by the Aam Aadmi Party, okay. Shahzad Punawala, even if it is a summit of mayors, why stop Arvind okay. Kejriwal? Answer both questions. All right. Now I'm going to first answer the questions posed by him. Now let me tell you. He said it's vendetta politics. Let's assume the ED is bad. Our government is bad, everything is bad. If this was a vendetta politics driven case in the last so many years and particularly in the last two months, Mr. Satyendra Jain hasn't managed to get any relief from the court. And by the way, para 30 of the High Court has said, and I quote, now please hear this out, ADPL which entire earlier notes that the cash that was routed through accommodation entries in the garb of share capital you need to in come, fact, belong, to in fact to belonged to Mr. Satyendra Kumar Jain and that it was at his direction that the entire Hawala transaction was orchestrated. Is the High Court of uh, Delhi also indulging in vendetta politics? And if it was vendetta, why haven't they got any relief, please tell me that Mr. Um, uh, uh, Arvind Kejriwal said he's a cutter imandar. What documents did he base this uh, assessment on? Is he above the court of law? Why isn't the court giving him okay, any relief? Shazad, thirdly, I'm not thirdly, I'm coming to your question. Please, I'm coming to your question. He said schools and hospitals bahut achcha kar diya. I will ask him that in the end of the show, till the end of the show, he can name one new school that has been opened by them or one new hospital. Now let me come to his large argument. He said profit ho raha hai, there's no corruption. Preeti, you have a phone. You could be sold for 200 rupees. You sell it for 100 rupees. Is that not uh, selling it for a low price and therefore causing a loss which is in fact corruption under the poker and now coming to your question about the conference the conference and the decision regarding the conference etc all of these decisions by the way a report is created by the indian mission abroad this okay. is the procedure one second let me explain to you when a request comes hundreds of requests come, I, I, it is sent I'll speed explain. it up i don't have the time Yes. The request is sent via the Indian mission to the local place for intelligence gathering and for other reports that have to be collected. They give a view on what is to be done. For instance, the government of UPA had denied Tarun Gogoi, the chief minister, to go to a program. So is that the was, reason? Is that the reason invite, why the government has denied invite, it? Which he was invited. Is invite, that the reason? Which he was invited for by the mission, not by the government, and also because it was lower in his stature. Is that the because, reason why the government has denied can him? Can I explain the process? Sir, I don't have the time to go through your process. Uh, what you is the reason the time, why the government has denied? You have the time him? to allow him to spew his life. Sir, uh, one therefore, second. Two and a half minutes more for therefore, you. Therefore, therefore, the decision on these things is not a political decision. All right, decision I'm going to go. On diplomatic you know, I, you want to, like I said, keep derailing the debate. Establish diplomatic All right, protocol. Do you okay. not believe in that? Can I get Jasmine Shah for the next 30 seconds and can I put the fader of Shahzad Punawala down? Go ahead. Jasmine Shah, you know, please answer. There were questions that he's raised. Yes. Yes, absolutely. And I'll come to the Singapore summit because, you know, the argument is why, being made why, that why this not is the main answer. Sir, so you the are interrupting now. But why aren't we discussing the liquor get, policy and the vendetta politics charge? Shazad, Shazad, may I just Shazad, get Shazad, 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 may I just I know. Why is he running away from court vendetta politics? Can I just, 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 Jasmine Shah. Go ahead, Jasmine Shah. Shahzad, I know it is frustrating when you're trying to attack Aam Aadmi Party again and again, but nothing is working. The graph of Aam Aadmi Party is rising across the country. People in Gujarat to Himachal, everybody is supporting up. I know it is frustrating, but please hold on. As far as the Singapore summit is concerned, it is the World City Summit. It is not a mayor's conference. Who's invited? Urban okay. experts, city leaders, mayors. Now, just leave it to the Singapore High Commission to decide who, who right. should be invited? You will decide. Shahzad Punawala will in, okay, uh, decide gonna, who should be invited. I'm going to close I mean, this. I mean, it is a shame. It, you should um, be ashamed with, that I, I would have hoped with the promise of both the gentlemen, I'm going to close the show. Record. We have not answered a single question about the entire policy. I am going to close the show with the permission or without of uh, both my panelists. The fact is, is there a probe that needs to be conducted? Well, we leave it for the authorities to decide. Is the Aam Aadmi trying to stall the probe? Well, they should welcome it if they have nothing to hide, is what we have to say right here on India Today. Whereas the invitation is concerned of, for Arvind Kejriwal, where the Singapore summit is concerned, what's the harm? You know, the Prime Minister travels across the world, other Chief Ministers travel across the world, why not him?